Okay, so in one of my LinkedIn posts, I spoke about uh, catalogs and specs inside Plant 3D and, and what it comes with and where you can get some more. Um, so that was just a post. So for, for this, I'm basically going to show you through a uh, through this video on how to, I guess, download some more and, and create your own catalogs and specs. So when you install Plant Suite uh, 2017, part of the plant installation is obviously Plant 3D itself, the spec editor and the report creator. So I'm just going to look at the spec editor for today. Um, now we're going to make some changes to the setup and configuration. So what you usually want to do is, is as well, if you want to do that, is click on right click on the icon and go to properties. Click on the compatibility tab and run this program as an administrator should be on. So that just means when we go into here and run it, um, under the tools and modified shared content folder, I can change this to a different path. So obviously mine uh, isn't on my C drive, it's now to a shared content folder of D drive. So unless you're running the spec and catalog editor as a administrator, you're not gonna be able to do that. Um, also as well, you want to do it inside Plant 3D itself, you'll need to run that as a um, administrator as well. So Plant 3D ships with AME, ASME, AWA and DIN uh, catalogs. So if I wanted to look at some more, um, what I can do is jump into Plant 3D. I find this to be one of the easier ways other than I guess using Google. So once you're in any Autodesk product, uh, you sign in at the top right of the software, there's going to be uh, this funky looking X icon. So when you click on that, um, it will take you to the Autodesk Exchange App Store. Okay, so I'll just wait for this to load. So here we have my Plant 3D session. You can see where I've signed up or signed into my A360 account there. So if I click on that X, it'll take me to the Autodesk website, it'll ask me to sign in, obviously. And then we're just going to look at the Plant 3D store. So this Plant 3D store has free products, has paid products, uh, I guess similar to, to other online stores. But for, for the plant catalogs and specs kind of thing, we're going to look at the filter on the left for catalogs and specs. Uh, and also just look at maybe the free ones as well. So that'll filter out, I guess, some of the Autodesk ones as well. So you can see here we get catalogs and specs that are free. Um, we can do other, other categories, I guess, search, search for catalogs by Autodesk itself. So because I, I live in Australia, I'm going to look for the Australian content here. So there's this one here, the ASNZS piping content pack version 3.1 okay so it works with plant 3d 2017 and 2016 there's the content there's the help document okay so if we look at the help document it tells us what's in there plus as well what the installation notes are so it will copy the catalog to your content location. So this is on C drive for 2017 and C drive for 2016. Okay. So once you download it and install it, you will end up with this folder here. So this is where we have our catalogs and there's obviously a PDF file for it too. So I'm not going to really go into sort of uh, uh, much else on regards to the catalogs except for when you want to go through and make your own or edit something so I can if I open up one of the Australian catalogs okay so there's all the parts in there um, thing with catalogs as well you can do you can edit in Imperial edit in metric Okay, so if you're one of those 
administrators that likes working in Imperial, you can go through, but obviously some of these are going to look very pretty in Imperial. So to make a spec, so a spec is essentially a filter of um, a catalog. So a catalog is a large library. You can see here if I do a sort by um, my short description, you can see there's all sorts of items in here, bends, elbows, bolt sets. Uh, collars, couplings, elbows, flanges, all sorts of items. I assimilate it to having a library, a traditional book library, uh, and then a spec is basically a filter of what you walk out of that library with. So let's say you want to go in there for a particular author, then you'll, you'll take out their books and check them out. Um, so if we look at, uh, let's look at one that I've already done. So if I look at CS150, this is just a, one of the out-of-the-box specs. So it is a filter of the ASME pipes and fittings catalog and the ASME valves catalog between half to 24 inch. Okay, so you can see here the uh, concentric eccentric reducers. Uh, so if we look at half to two inch flanges, are all going to be socket weld, and then three inch and above are all going to be weld necks. Okay. You can set these up how you want. You can have different catalogs for different items, or you can just have one catalog for every item and then just create your filters from that. The other important thing you're going to need to do is your branch table. So this will tell the software and obviously people using, um, uh, sorry, installing the, the uh, pipes out on site, what happens at a branch. So 8 by 10, we're going to have a T2, an R1, and an S1. So T2 is a T reduced and R1 is a T in reducer and we can have the stub in. So once the spec is done, the specs for them to work in the software have to be copied to the spec sheets folder. Uh, if they're not in there, then the people on the project are not going to see it. So this is where I said in my LinkedIn post where you might have two directories for specs, one called working and one called master. The working one is where the end users will see the specs and the, the master one is where the CAD administrator creates and modifies um, their specs so then that, that way they don't bother the people using the software itself. Um, so yeah, so in short that that is I guess just a quick intro on, on how to get your catalogs and specs in there. In each of the software just click on the X, go to the Exchange Apps web store and you'll see more install the catalog then create a spec which is a filter of that catalog and then copy that to the to your project